All right. So we are going to address myth four. So we address myths one, two, and three. Myth one, again, was um, the behavioral expression of anger is fixed and cannot be changed. Uh, myth two, anger automatically leads to aggression. Myth three, people must be aggressive to get what they want. And now um, we're going to discuss uh, myth four, which is uh, venting anger is always desirable. Now, the thing about this um, particular myth is that even many professional people, psychotherapists, for example, believe this to be so, right? And there were certain psychotherapy techniques that um, people would use associated with this myth. So again, venting anger is always desirable is a myth. That means just, you know, whether you're verbalizing, uh, venting through verbal verbalization or venting by, you know, physically uh, uh, becoming physically uh, aggressive or assaultive uh, behavior. Um, it's not always desirable. But the reason that people think it's desirable, because when you when you become extremely angry and you have a, 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 a angry outburst, it's cathartic. Right. Um, meaning that. Um, so when you use the term cathartic or talking about the catharsis, it's it's when you you express an emotion, right? You 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 uh, strongly express emotion and like you know like an outburst, and then it it gives you a certain level of relief that comes from that that expression, you know, expressing that 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 emotion like with the outburst, right? So when you let's say become aggressive and you yell and scream and and vent your anger or whatever. Excuse me. Sometimes it does relieve a certain amount of pressure um, that's built up associated with that anger and anxiety and stuff like that. But it is not always desirable, even though you may feel a little bit better because you got it off your chest. Other people around you um, feel worse. Right. And, and a lot of times, especially if it's someone you care about, that makes a difference. Because then you're going to be wondering, okay, why this person don't want to be around me, or why does it appear that they don't like me, or or they don't communicate with me, um, um, you know, nicely or stuff like that. And, and and again, it's because the way that you treat and interact with that person, and just because, um, you know, because you can care. Because again, I was someone that that always dealt with my anger negatively dealt with it the wrong way and so um in the in doing that i would end up rubbing people the wrong way with the way that i uh dealt with my anger the stuff that would come out my mouth or my behavior towards them and and that would be a turnoff right and 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 people would be like yeah you know they uh or you would have a lot of people that they would prefer to have nothing to do with me because who wants to be um, you know, verbally abused, right? With with words or what have you. So they would prefer not to have anything to do with me because of the way that I would deal with the situation. And 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 in the same token, I and I didn't see it then, right? You know, it, to me, because again, the whole feelings thing when I was growing up, um, you know, we had a uh, uh, you know saying fuck your feelings, right? So. You know, people start talking about how they feel and they immediately get cut off. Like, man, we don't care about your feelings. Come on, man. We men. We ain't, we ain't worried about that. But again, that was the wrong way of thinking about things because everyone has feelings. And, and the reason why we get so angry about situations is directly associated with those feelings that we have and our interpretations about different things. Right. But as men, unfortunately, the only emotion that we um, uh, uh, tend to um, feel okay with identifying with is the anger, right? We we feel um, uh, comfortable saying that we're angry, but when we're talking about we're sad or we're hurt or something like that, we don't feel we don't feel comfortable. I mean, just imagine you know you're sitting around in a group of your friends or your homies or whatever, and uh, somebody says something. That you know, kind of rubs you the wrong way, and you're like, "Hey, homie, uh, yeah, I don't appreciate you saying that. You kind of hurt my feelings, right? You probably get laughed out the room, 
right? Everybody, you know, just start laughing like, really? Oh, oh, that's the sensitive homie, right? Um, but it's true. Sometimes it happens. You feel a certain way, but we don't identify as being hurt, even though that's what it is. We identify as being, I'm mad. You pissed me off or something like that, right? Then we want to we want to throw blows with the person because they pissed us off. When in reality, they hurt. They hurt you. They hurt your feelings, right? Because if you care about somebody and they come at you a certain way or they do something that you feel that is uncharacteristic of them or you thought you knew them better than that, then that's going to, you know, that's going to hurt. That's going to affect you emotionally. But <clears throat> again, as men, and especially if you grew up in that street life or, or, or um, prison or just men in general, but especially if you grew up under those circumstances, you you are um, probably have picked up a lot of maladaptive um, behaviors associated with um, how we should address our anger and how we should process um, things that uh, things that get us angry. Now, as far as the psychotherapists are concerned, this anger, uh, venting anger is always desirable. There was a thing like people they would have like the open chair technique where they would have the person express their anger with, it'd be like an empty chair, but they're addressing their anger towards a particular individual in their family or friend or somebody that they had an issue with. And, you know, they might yell and scream or whatever and express their anger, or they might have a situation where they had a person bit, uh, beating on pillows and yelling and getting off their frustration. And when the person is done, they actually do feel better. The problem with that is, if the person is only taught to beat on pillows or even if they're using a punching bag or something like that, um, then they only learn to hit. You learn when you get angry. OK, if I hit something, I'm going to feel better. If I yell and I scream and I cuss and use profanity, I'm going to feel better. But that doesn't help when you're dealing with an individual. You have a live human being in front of you. If you've learned that, OK, hitting something is going to make me feel better. And the only thing you have is that person's face guess what you're probably going to hit that person's face. Or you may say, okay, I don't want to go to prison by hitting this person. So you punch a wall, but you feel like, okay, I've got to punch something because the way that you've learned to um, de-escalate your anger and make you feel better is to hit something. So you're going to hit something. You're going to hit the wall. And that's part of the venting, right? So venting anger is not always desirable. Sometimes we want to um, wait you know, for the opportune time to um, discuss whatever the situ situation is that's concerning us. And sometimes it don't even need to be addressed, especially if it's a situation where um, the anger is related to somebody that you have, um, you know, that you're maybe never going to run into this person again or something like that, right? It may not be something that you have to address at that particular time. And I know as men, you know, we got this thing like, no, nah, man, you know, screw that. I can't let this go. Right. But you can let it go and it may behoove you to let it go. Right. But if you don't at least, you know, get in the habit of thinking before you act. Right. Responding rather than reacting to a situation so that when you do decide to vent your anger, um, you're 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 fully aware of the potential consequences that may come your way if you choose to do it in a negative manner. So venting anger is not always desirable. So that's all for this video. Um, again, uh, if you've been able to get any benefit from the video, please uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, maybe share it with some friends. Thanks.